Hey guys, welcome to the Computer Made Simple. Today I will show you how to upgrade and change RAM memory. Before we begin, uh, let me explain something about static electricity. Every object has a potential energy and your body also has a potential energy. And when the difference is so great between these two energies and you touch an object, you get a static shock. Now it's important to understand static shocks are powerful enough to destroy components in your computer because they are so fragile. So anytime you're going to work on a computer, make sure you ground yourself or at least that you touch a metal part of the case before you work on any given component. That can be as simple as touching a piece of metal that's related to the case or the power supply that's also plugged into the case. It's a good idea to use something called an anti-static strap. So basically it's something you put around your wrist and make sure you're connected to the case at all times simple as this. So that makes sure that my energy is the same or at least equal to the case's energy so there won't be any transfer of static electricity when I work on the case. When you're installing RAM, upgrading or changing make sure you grab the right type of RAM. These days you will probably find DDR2 and DDR3 RAM for desktop computers. Same for the laptop computers but make sure that you know which you're buying because a desktop model is a full stick while its laptop counterpart is probably half of that. How do you know which type of RAM you need to buy? Uh, there's a little program called CPU-Z. I'll put a, a link in the description. Basically just download it, run it, and it will tell you what kind of memory you are using currently. Also, if you're not sure, your motherboard manual uh, or the online manual will tell you exactly what you need to know about the type of memory that is compatible with your specific motherboard. Now, it's fairly easy to install RAM or upgrade it. As you can see right there, I have four slots right now. There are two yellows and two blacks. I already have a stick inserted in the black slot because I know that for this particular motherboard, if I'm only installing two sticks of RAM, they need to populate the black slots. Now, as you can see, there is a notch in the middle of the RAM. And it's not exactly in the middle, so RAM will only fit one way. So make sure it's as simple as just watching where that slot is, matching it up with the slot, and just inserting it. There are little plastic clips that you need to release and you know the RAM is properly inserted when you hear them click. So basically make sure it's the right way, slide it in, and then push at the top, you hear a click, push at the bottom, you hear a click, and it's in. As simple as that. So the only hard part is just making sure you have the correct type of RAM. So CPU-Z will tell you what you're currently using. So basically for this computer I am using DDR2 memory. So if I would want to populate the yellow slots, I just have to buy another pair of sticks of DDR2. And make sure you match up the notch. RAM only goes in one way, so if it's not going in, don't force it. Take it out, make sure it's the right way in, and put it back in. And just push in until you hear the clicks, and it's as easy as that. Can you believe that computer stores charge you $25 to $40 to do this for you? That was easy. Alright, make sure you subscribe and see you next time.